the reality is we're not yet finished. Um, and this visit, therefore, is to be able to take stock with where we are and to see the things that need snagging. Um, but as you can see, it is unfolding quite nicely. Um, this hotel will have 422 rooms. Regrettably, COVID was an uh, interrupter. And in fact, the contractors would have made a force majeure claim under the contract um, in excess, I believe, of over $40 million. Mm -hmm. And we managed, we managed to get them down. How much was it? 40, sorry, 40 million US. Well, we right, the 40 million US dollars was the claim under the force majeure. After extensive negotiations, we got them down to 22.5. And of course, that would have been, we lost two and a half years with COVID. Um, this should have been open a long time ago. The reality is that this is a, a, a difficult climate, as you can see, and therefore the design features will have to be continuously tweaked and the maintenance continuously um, maintained in order to maintain the five diamond status Absolutely. that Wyndham wants to have. Um, I've been told that they've had a number of groups express an interest already, and they actually go for pre-sales from the 21st of August. Hello. 21st of August, yes. 21st of August, and therefore the soft opening will take place from October, but we hope that we will be able to see um, us ramping up, obviously through the winter, in a significant way. As you heard from Mr. Lane, the initial staff complement is about 300, but the intention is to eventually reach a full complement of 1,000. The government has plans for the castle, restoration, and the grounds. That's not part of this hotel because we felt strongly. We took two decisions that changed from what we inherited. One, we didn't believe that we should leave all 55 acres for one hotel, and we have another 17 acres, therefore we split it in such a way that there's 17 acres to the south, southeast of the, of, of the castle that is now available for development separate from the 422 rooms here. And we also felt that ultimately, um, once we are in a position to catch our hand, the, right now the castle will be landscaped and lit, but ultimately we would like to work towards the restoration of the castle. But that is not in the immediate plans because we need to make sure that the country has this firing on full cylinders with respect to our ability to expand the room count, as Ian has been trying to work with William to help me do. And we have a number of hotels, as you know, on the West Coast and in Bridgetown that will be coming on board. Um, I do hope that we will therefore be able to reignite the tourism spirit fully in St. Philip. Um, as you know, St. Philip always had the benefit of both the Crane and Sam Lloyd's Castle. And therefore, um, we believe that with this property at 422 rooms and with what we ultimately develop, we're looking um, we've gone out to tender twice, but most of that was during COVID, and we weren't happy <clears throat> with the expressions of interest then. But we also expect that there will be different interests given a number of things. The fact that we're out of COVID, the fact that our investment um, opportunities have been increasing significantly, the fact that the country's credit rating has improved, the fact that there's greater confidence in what is happening in the country. So we'll go back out to an RFP on that. It's a slightly smaller property than this. Um, as I said, I think that's 17 acres. 17 acres right? and, and this is um, pretty much with the exception of the castle in the middle, which is about three or four acres we're keeping there. The rest of the 55 acres would be what this property occupies. Um, as you can see, the Sargassum Sea Weave continues to bedevil all of us on the eastern and southeastern coast of this country. And therefore, when we talk about these issues, these are real things because it adds to the operational costs because as you would know, the hotel would now have to make sure on a daily basis those beaches are kept clean. And um, we accept that one of the reasons why government had to become involved in developing properties on this coast is because of the higher level of maintenance and the higher level of infrastructural design that is required in order to have that here. 